ka wahi a te awa, puta i tua, puta i waho, a ko te paki a ko te rākau o maire nuku o maire rangi, o maire i te maro whenua e, i runga tāne, i daro tāne, paku paku tāne, rākahi tāne, tāne te whakai rangi, ko atu tēnei kaupampe e tāne ki uta, i ngā tiri tiri o te moana, he ki ho rā, he ki ho rā, he ki ho rā i ngā wā, ngā moana ngā roto, tai noa rā ki ngā tiri tiri o te moana ki tāi, ko wai makariri, ko te rakahuri, ā, tai noa mai ki tēnei o ngā taonga, ko tāporo, hui e te rangi ora haramai te toki, haumi e, hui e, tāi ki e. Tēnā koutou, koutou kua hui hui mai nei, a mauri a mai, ngā mate, ngā tuā hua tanga maha kei runga i au koutou, kia mehia, kia tangihia, kia ea, tērā taha, kia rātou, nō reina rātou, kia rātou, tātou e tau mai nei, kia tātou, tēnā tātou. Ngā maunga, ngā awa, kei wainga i au koutou, mauri a mai ngā pukenga, i tēnei o ngā taonga, o tākoro, ki te whakanui, I tēnei wāhanga, tēnei pito, ko whakapainga, ko whakatikaina, hei whakanuia i tēnei rā. O reira tēnei mātou, o maunga tere, o wai makariri e mihi ana ki a koutou katoa. E te minita, Jerry, pai te kiti atu i a koe, ko hara mai, ki te hāpore, ki ngai tua huriri, ki ngā karanga taha maha, Kei ko nei e mahi ana ai i tēnei mahi nui o tātou. O reira tēnei au e mihi ana ki a koe. O ti rā, ngā pukenga, ngā mātanga, ngā kotoki, ngā koutou tēnei mahi i whakatūtuki. Ka hore e mutu ngā mihi ki a koutou e hāpai nei i ngā tikanga o tōku tō mātou nei, hapū tō mātou nei iwi, E tātai ana ki tēnei o ngā awa. Ko tērā te tehi kōrero, ko tangaroa, ka moe ki a papatua nuku, ka tahi karua, ko papatua nuku ki a rangi nui. Nā, ka puta i a rātou, tātou e tau nei, nō reira tēnei mātei e mihi ana ki a koutou. Tērā koutou, tērā koutou, tērā tātou katoa. close off, um, on behalf of our people of Ngaitua Huriri from just north of the Waimakiriri Awa, uh, we just wanted to take the opportunity um, to share in the day, to acknowledge all the people um, from central government, from local government, um, all the knowledge that has been brought together to give us the start of um, the rebuild here and to celebrate today. So um, we've brought our kids from Tuiwi School um, to join in the day. Um, a small school in the heartland of Canterbury, perhaps the oldest community, celebrating their 150th year this year at the school. Um, and it's a pleasure for us to have them with us to celebrate the day. So on our behalf, um, it's our pleasure to be here. And tēnā uh, tātou katoa. Well, good afternoon and uh, welcome along. Can I thank Tamarino and... Maria, I'm sorry, I always get you mixed up with someone else from Naitau and I do apologise for that. But can I thank the uh, children from uh, Tuhiwi School for being here, for being part of today and for making it 
special for the rest of us. This is, uh, I think, a very important occasion because uh, it demonstrates the sort of uh, river walks uh, and the effect that the river can have on the uh, rest of the development of the city uh, as we move forward. And I'm very pleased today that we have with us Tom Miskell, who is uh, leading the CCDU uh, design team, and uh, in particular having an ecologist uh, who is part of his team, uh, Shelley McMurtry, I think is uh, pretty amazing. And I'm sure that at some point they'll talk about uh, some of the achievements that they've managed in an ecological sense uh, with the, the improvements to the Avon, uh, Otakaro, and what can happen uh, as we move forward. Uh, can I acknowledge also all of those who are here from uh, the City Council? Uh, I, I noticed David Cagle, Commissioner from ECAN, here. It's good to see all of that involvement uh, and that interest because of all of the projects that uh, might be built as a result of this rebuild. The one that we can sure, be sure that will never be rebuilt again uh, is uh, the river and uh, its immediate precincts. So this is a, an extremely important day from that point of view. I was a little bit late getting here today because I was held up by traffic uh, largely around construction sites across the city. And we are in a, a remarkable sort of beginning, I think, of uh, some years of very big construction here in Christchurch. And some of you will have noticed that the ANZ uh, report, economic report, uh, very recently suggested that the growth here in Canterbury, largely driven out of Christchurch, is running at about 6.6%. Uh, about three times the national average. Uh, so that indicates the level of commitment that we've got from people who are wanting to make things move here in the city. We still have some contentious issues that have to be dealt with. Uh, they're not easy, they're very, very difficult. Uh, there are lots of opinions uh, and there are lots of uh, decisions that get made that uh, sometimes need to be uh, uh, adhered to, sometimes need to be challenged, uh, but all because we want to get as good a result as we possibly can for the long run. I think some of the work that's being uh, done in CERA uh, is largely reflective of the commitment that Cantabrians and people resident here in Christchurch uh, have made to the CBD plan, are making to the development or redevelopment and redesign of our suburbs uh, and do want for a future here in Canterbury. So I'm very delighted this afternoon that you'll still get a little bit of information about this project uh, from Warwick Isaac, who will also outline a little bit of the process that we're going to go through and the progress that can be expected moving forward. Today the government is also releasing, through Sarah uh, and Roger and his team, a uh, program for how we see the anchor projects uh, developing over the coming couple of years. There's been a lot of call for that. Uh, until we had a cost-sharing agreement with the Christchurch City Council, uh, it wasn't possible to speculate about those things. But in the few weeks that have passed since that agreement, a lot of work has come together to a point where we now have uh, a, a clarity about the progress that can be expected on all of those uh, quite splendid assets that we'll add to the city. And the other thing I would say before I finish is that uh, projects like this will develop as they go. Ideas will come forward that will augment what's uh, intended in the first place, uh, and those ideas will simply add uh, to the end beauty that we can expect uh, from uh, all of the work that we're doing, taking the opportunity to rebuild a city unlike any other city has had, uh, certainly in the Southern Hemisphere and quite possibly in the world before. So with those uh, remarks, can I congratulate everybody who's been involved in the project. I was a little worried when we started the project, I got to come down here and sit on a digger and dig the first uh, piece of uh, uh, turf out. Uh, I've got to say I did a splendid job of that. and. <laughs> Uh, put the turf down very deftly and when I walked away I was quite worried that perhaps uh, they were going to be a little bit, um, uh, uh, you know, could have done with my expertise staying there. But, um, uh, for those who have actually done the physical building, wonderful job, congratulations, it just looks as good as uh, we had hoped uh, and remember it's just the start of what will be a very splendid asset for Christchurch. So with those words can I uh, invite Warwick Isaac to come up and give you a little bit of information about where things are going from here. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Well, as the Minister has said, today um, Sarah is releasing a market update uh, on where the, some of the central city anchor projects um, are moving to in the forward. 
time frame in the next few months and into the next few years. And that's particularly around the Avon River Precinct, as the Minister has just announced this is the, the start of, of that project. We've got a long way to go, 3.2 kilometres right uh, through to the end of um, the river as it adjoins Fitzgerald Avenue. Also the Convention Centre Precinct, the East Frame and the bus interchange. So we've, we've got some documentation which is available after this. We can get details of those um, that more information that we are releasing today. Not only are we talking about construction and completion times, we're also talking about business case um, development time. That's a very important part of anchor project development. We need to get the, the funding in place. Part of that has been uh, the cost share agreement with the City Council. It's been pivotal to that. Without that in place, the announcements we're making today couldn't have been made. We also are releasing information around who it is that we've employed so far. We've spent quite a bit of money and we're continue to, continuing to spend a lot of money uh, with project management companies, design companies, quantity surveyors to make sure that what we're planning is affordable, both in the construction phase but also uh, in the operational phase once, once these things are completed. We need to make sure that the community of Christchurch can afford to have them in the city on, in the longer term. And what it shows is that we've got very experienced firms um, some of them are local, some of them are international, but we've got top-notch people working on these projects for the people of Christchurch. In the months ahead, you'll, we'll be releasing more information um, because, as I've mentioned, we've got a lot of information on the four top priority projects at the moment, but there are still another uh, 13 after that in the coming months. We'll be releasing more information on those. As part of the, the, um, the launch of, of the river project today, I'm very privileged to announce that there will be an art trail along the length of, of the river precinct. And that will be a legacy of the rebuild for the people of Christchurch. And it will highlight the unique histories of the city and of, of the region and the features of the city. We have a budget in the order of $10 million for that project. And it's our anticipation that that will be funded largely from the philanthropic sector. We've got people who are very much behind this project. And we'll see art pieces from not only local and national, but also international artists highlighting, highlighting Christchurch. And just finally, we, we've commissioned Scape Public Art and also Landscape Architects Rating Associates to, uh, to assist us with that project. Thank you. It's not often I get uh, let to stand up the front. Uh, look, I, I'll just give you a, a brief overview of, of what we're hoping for the Avon River and what you can see uh, that we've done here through Watermark. But our, our primary goal is to bring the Avon River back to life. It has unfortunately been in a state of decline for many, many years, and this is our opportunity to give back to the river after the, the many decades of service that it, it, it has given to us as a, as a society. So we are wanting to improve the river processes, allow the river, give the river the ability to look after itself. So in a lot of sections we'll be looking at narrowing that low flows channel, which if you walk down here you'll see we've done in Watermark. And the idea associated with that is to speed up that flow of water, get that water rushing through again like it would have used to have been. And that will help to keep sediment in suspension and keep these areas clean, clean of that fine salt. So we will have better habitat for our native fish. Um, a lot of you may not know, but we have a very rare uh, native fish called a bluegill bully. It loves to live in fast-flowing sections here. And also juvenile longfin eels, this is a type of habitat that they love to uh, live in. So we're hoping that we can really bring back our native fish fauna as a result of improving that habitat. And by increasing or improving our river processes, uh, we hope to relink the river with its natural floodplain within the low flow channel so that uh, we're not, certainly not going to increase flooding, but it gives the river the capacity to cleanse itself. We have these little low banks where, in a flood situation, the, the sediment in that flood water will trap on those banks and keep it out of the river. And so if, if we go through and, and do these things along the length of the river, if we clean out the sediment that's in there already, in 50 years' time, this river should still be healthy and it should still be clean. This is obviously only the first step. Uh, we need to look at wider catchment processes as well. This is a very small part in a, in a very big catchment. So if we can 
lead by example and show people what can be done for our river through here, then hopefully there will be uh, improvements in the wider catchment. And we can all think about what happens to our stormwater that runs off all of our streets here and, and that ultimately ends up in our river. I'd just like to pass on my words of congratulations to Shelley and her team. I if you just listen quietly here, you can hear the sound of the water, you know, and not only does it drown out the the traffic to some extent, but it also helps to for us <coughs> people to experience the river in different ways. You'll see that we've taken boardwalks down here so that you get closer. The ecologists have come up with planting plans that we're, we're planting um, the sorts of species that it would have grown in this area. And I really want to emphasise that this whole plan is all about people. We want the Avon River to really be the catalyst and the attractor for businesses, for recreation, for visitors. And already we're seeing that a lot of the de new development are, is happening around the river. And I, I envisage that, that will continue. The other, the other uh, matter I want to draw to your attention is that along the river reaches, the character will change. So if you look around here, you see it's more park-like. It's more related to just over Hagley Park here, just beside us. And as we move into what used to be known as the strip, or we'll now <coughs> we'll be calling the terraces, there will be more of an urban character. So it'll move away from the park, it'll be a harder, more resilient landscape that will attract people. And then, the, and then when we get out to the Avon Loop area, we'll get back into a more park-like native planting area. So all along the way, we will have a promenade, which will start here on the other side of the road, go um, past the health precinct, which will be just across the road here, past the terraces, through Victoria Square, and we will be having the promenade up against the businesses. Those of you who know Melbourne, it's a bit like South Bank, where you've got the hard landscape up against the businesses, the, the um, narrower, more intimate paths, like we've got along here, closer to the river. So that will give people choice. They can either be uh, relating to the river, or they can be um, walking up and down past the businesses. Because remember, we do also want to catalyse the economic growth and development of this city. Thank you. And this is the first part of it, and it's great to be getting the fence down and allowing people to come in here. Thank you. Thank you.